Shalom, shalom, and peace. Targeted lion back. Got the fresh cut. You can see the tan. My legs and my arms are like night and day. But uh, I know it's been a while since I posted. A lot of crazy things has happened. But um, praise God, am I right? Thank you, Jesus, Yeshua. Today's topic, targeted individuals, chosen ones against the world. We're going against the world every single day. The Bible says, in the world, in this world, we will find tribulation, but be of good cheer. I've overcame the world. You got to understand something, my brothers and sisters. It's not the fact. It's what we stand for that we get targeted, but it's more about what we don't stand for. You got to understand the homosexual agenda, the transgender, the the gang gang, the smoking, the drinking, the fornication, the, the wicked rituals and satanic performances and music and lifestyle that this world has um, promoted. People accept that. Most people accept evil. Most people accept what they're told. Most people do not question authority. Most people don't look into the truth. Us targeted individuals, chosen ones, God's people. It's not that we're better. It's not that we're being prideful, but we are being targeted and hated because we don't choose to fit in with the world. We're always going to be watched, always going to be monitored. These monitoring spirits are always going to be there. I've come to that realization, my brothers and sisters. They're always going to talk. They're always going to harass you. They're always going to say something about you to bring you down because they want to put you in a category. You're this, you're that, you're this. But the reason they do that is because we don't belong to this world. They want to categorize us, be this, be that. But we can't be controlled. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. And because we are grounded in Jesus Christ, Yahshua, we cannot be controlled. We cannot be manipulated and deceived. We cannot be a puppet like most people. You know, um, I just, I want to tell my brothers and sisters, targeted individuals, chosen ones, the spiritual warfare that we face on a day-to-day -day basis is something that normal people wouldn't be able to handle. Only by the grace of God, only through Yahshua, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, can we endure these things. They're always attacking us. They're talking, they're slandering us. They attack our mind a lot. Have you guys noticed, my brothers and sisters, that they attack you and they try to tell you who you are? You know, the smear campaigns and and the, the evil witchcraft that they speak. You're this, you're that. You know what I mean? You're this, you're that. They try to um, bombard you with that and use dark psychology and gaslighting, you know, and, and, and reverse psychology to try to make you feel like you're a bad person, that you're guilty, that, that, that you're deserving of being targeted and harassed, you know? It's all a way to manipulate and deceive. You have to understand, this is like... Um, reverse psychology. Anybody that stands for truth, anybody that stands for something that is righteous and true, they will try to make you look like the bad people. You understand what I'm saying? They provoke us, they record us, they talk about us, they harass us, they follow us. You know, they make noises and, and, and constantly try to poke and pry. But when we react, then they play the victim. You know, when you stand for something righteous, they're going to smear you. They're going to say you're this, you're that, you're evil, you're this. Some kind of lie made up. Because all they do is try to drag you down, to try to dim your light. Your mere presence intimidates them. You know what I mean. You just walk in the store, they're talking about you. The whole, you know, they're watching you. They're monitoring you. They're recording you. They're, 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 they're making noises. They're, they're gossiping. They're laughing at you. And it's all demonic. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, my brothers and sisters. You know, I don't want my videos to, to have the same message, but it really is at the end of the day. This is spiritual warfare. This is the devil's army versus God's people. This is Jesus's people against the world. He says that I overcame the world, but in this world, you will find tribulation. What we're going through is tribulation. What we're going through is persecution. God is separating the wheat from the tares. We're being set apart. And we're going to be hated because this world belongs to the devil. The people that are winning, right? The people that are winning in this world, you see it. They're the ones that are wicked. They're, 
that'll F you over for a little bit of money, that will do evil rituals to be initiated, you know, that will throw you under the bus, that will lie, that will manipulate, that'll steal, that'll kill, that'll destroy, just like the devil, the father of lies, to get ahead in this world. We're going to struggle in this world. But the Bible says, I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Understand something, my brothers and sisters. When we are set apart, when God has chosen us, he knows exactly what we're going to face. He tells us that the prophets before us will be persecuted. Look at Jesus Christ, Yeshua himself. I want you to understand something, my brothers and sisters. Many are called, few are chosen. And when you're chosen, you have to endure so much. And this is such a spiritual battle that all the trauma, all the... In all the trauma, the abuse, the harassment that we endure, these spirits know who we are. They know us since a child. They know the trauma. They, and they react. They react. They attack our thoughts. They know our thoughts. They know our fears. They know our anxiety. They feed off of fear. They feed off of anxiety. They feed off of, of any negative emotion and negative spirit. Understand that. And that's why they talk and gossip and do these things so they can have a negative reaction and have that spirit of fear or anxiety or guilt try to take hold of us. And that's why we must understand that there is not, no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. That who the sun sets free is free indeed. That once you chose to follow Jesus Christ Yeshua, you automatically became a target. And this is what we will face. Many people commit suicide. Many people are institutionalized. Many people are incarcerated because of this wicked satanic program that targets those that choose to stand against the dark evil forces of this world. And most people are your enemies, your neighbors, the people that are supposed to be your friends, your family. You know that they're in on it. It seems like your whole life has been a setup, hasn't it? When you look back, my brothers and sisters, family, friends, you're like, man, who was really a good influence on my life? Who really was of God? Who really wanted the best for me? And that's the hardest part. But I want to read this Bible scripture, my brothers and sisters. And, I, and it's a, I'm going to read the whole chapter. But it, it really, it, please bear with me if you're a true follower of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and a targeted individual. Listen to this verse and tell me this doesn't apply to us. All right, I'm in the book of Lamentations. I'm in uh, chapter 3, the book of Lamenta Lamentations, chapter 3. I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. He has driven me away and made me walk in darkness rather than light. Indeed, he has turned his hand against me again and again all day long. He has made my skin and flesh grow old and has broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and hardship. He has made me dwell in darkness like those long dead. He has wailed me in so I cannot escape, walled me in so I cannot escape. He has weighed me down with chains. Even when I cry out for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has barred my way with blocks of stone. He has made my paths crooked. Like a bear lying in wait, like a lion in hiding, he jagged me from the path and mangled me and left me without help. He drew his bow and made me the target for his arrows. He pierced my heart with arrows from his quiver. I became the laughing stock of all my people. They mock me in song all day long. He has filled me with bitter herbs and satted me with gall. He has broken my teeth with gravel. He has trampled me in the dust. I have been deprived of peace. I have forgotten what prosperity is. So I say, my splendor is gone and all that I had hope from the Lord. I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I will remember them and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, I say to myself. The Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those who hope in him. To those who seek him, it is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man to bear the yoke while he is young. Let him sit alone in silence, for the Lord has laid it on him. 
Let him bury his face in the dust. There may yet be hope. Let him who offer his cheek to one who would strike him and let him be filled with disgrace. For men are not cast off by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion. So great is his unfailing love. For he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to the children of men, to crush underfoot all prisoners in the land, to deny a man his rights before the Most High, to deprive a man of justice. Would not the Lord see such things? Who can speak and have it happen if the Lord has not decreed it? It is not from the mouth of the Most High that both calamities and good things come. Why should any living man complain when punished for his sins? Let us examine our ways and test them, and let us return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts and our hands to God in heaven and say, We have sinned and rebelled, and you have not forgiven. You have covered yourself with anger and pursued us. You have slain without pity. You have covered yourself with a cloud so that no prayer can get through. You have made us scum and refuse among the nations and refuse among the nations. All our enemies have opened their mouths wide against us. We have suffered terror and pitfalls, ruin and destruction. Streams of tears flow from our eyes because my people are destroyed. My eyes will flow unceasingly without relief until the Lord looks down from the heaven and sees. What I see brings grief to my soul because of all the women of my city. Those who were my enemies without cause hunted me like a bird. They tried to end my life in a pit and threw stones at me. The waters closed over my head and I thought I was about to be cut off. I called out to your name, O Lord. From the depths of the pit, you have heard my plea. Do not close your eyes to my cry of relief. You, have, you came near me when I called you and you said, do not fear, O Lord. You look up my case. You redeem my life. You have seen, O Lord, the wrong done to me. Uphold my cause. You have seen the depth of their vengeance, all their plots against me. O Lord, you have heard their insults, all their plots against me. What my enemies whisper and mutter against me all day long. Look at them. Sitting or standing, they mock me in their songs. Pay them back for what they deserve, O Lord, for what their hands have done. Put a veil over their hearts and may your curse be on them. Pursue them in anger and destroy them from under the heavens of the Lord. Amen, brothers and sisters. You hear the insults. You hear the plots against us. It seems like God isn't there at times. You, you know, you cry out like, Jesus, Lord, Yeshua, why, why is this happening? Why am I being targeted? Why are they insulting us? You have to understand we're being refined. We're being refined. You know, some of us, we're, we're all sinners. We all fall short of the grace of God. But in this evil world, in this wicked world, when we choose to follow what's righteous, they're going to plot. They're going to insult. They're going to condemn us. They're going to try to, you know, make us feel bad for our past or make feel bad for mistakes. But understand that these people, these demons that come against us each day, they're doing their job. Their job is to harass us. Their job is to provoke us. Their job is to monitor us. Their job is to try to drag us to hell and get us to commit sins. But we must do our job and be diligent. Be vigilant, be sober-minded, be constantly in prayer, pray without season, be in the word of God, and try to rid ourselves from sin. I deal with lust, my brothers and sisters. I am not no perfect man. I lust, I deal with lusting. I look, I look at women lustfully at times, you know, being a single man of God, and I am not condoning sin. I am not saying that I'm perfect, but we all fall short, and I we need to be right with God. Because in these end times, we are going against evil and they are waiting for us to slip up. These, they're waiting for us to get angry. They're waiting for us to react. They want to bring us down. They want to drag us to hell with them. But thank God, thank the Lord Jesus Christ that he has made a way out, that he has made a way out through our hope, through our faith in Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Those who endure to the end, the same shall be saved. We must endure this. We must preach the gospel. We must continue to walk boldly. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil. My brothers and sisters, I love you. I know what you go through day to day, being harassed, being surveyed. Every job, every place you go, they're always watching, monitoring you. But it's because Jesus Christ lives in you. The light, the light that you have shines bright in this dark, wicked world. Keep shining. Peace.